It's Tracy with Mama's Comfort Cooking, and today I come to show you how to make a chocolate chocolate pound cake. So here are the ingredients that we'll need to get this started. What I'm using here is three cups of um, cake flour, five eggs, three cups of sugar, half a cup of Crisco shortening, three sticks of butter, one cup of buttermilk, a fourth a cup of cocoa, vanilla flavor, one tablespoon, and I got a fourth a cup of black coffee, and I'm going to add some chocolate syrup. So this is how we all begin it, okay? For, so first we're going to do, plus I also have, I'm going to add it in there while I tell you, I have a half a teaspoon of salt, and I have a full teaspoon of baking powder. I'm going to add it in there. I'm going to whisk it. I'm going to add the fourth cup of cocoa powder. And it's just cocoa powder, just Hershey's, Hershey's cocoa powder. I'm going to whisk that in there real good and let them marry together. So to this, Eddie, please, to this we're going to add, um, thank you, Eddie. To this we're going to add the butter. We're going to start off with the butter. And what we're going to do is we're going to add the three sticks of butter and the half a cup of uh, Crisco together. And we're going to blend these. Okay? That's what we're going to start off with. You get all the butter, honey. I get all my butter. Every bit of it. That's how we're going to do this. I don't waste anything. Butter softens. So it's not uncommon that some of it will want to get caught up in the paper. But I just shake it. And I make sure I get all of it. Alright. You can say, well, it don't take all that. But it does for me. Next thing I'm going to add. I'm going to add the half a cup of Crisco. And I'm going to mix these starting off together. Once I get this mixed good, then we're going to add our sugar. So hold on, let me um, get me a napkin real quick. And then I'll turn it on, point it down on that net. Please be plugged up there, I think. Okay. You got it still going for me? Hold on, I'll plug it in. I know my good and faithful Natalie is helping me record. So let's get it plugged up and let's get it mixing. It's real life, y'all. It's real life. Sometimes it's plugged in and sometimes it's not. So we're going to plug her in and plug her in. Sometimes the housekeeper unplugs everything. Unplugs things. <laughs> yes, she does. And hides things. The beautiful housekeeper of mine. So let's get it mixing. Again, we just mix the three sticks of butter to the half a cup of shortening. Doesn't take much to both for room temperature. So we don't want to overwork our stuff. So let me smooth that down a little bit. And let me push it down. And then we get ready to start adding our three cups of sugar. Make sure y'all write this down now. I'm giving it to you. So let's go ahead and add our three cups of sugar in here. I'm just going to take my time, if y'all don't mind. I'm going to add a little at a time. I like to do that. Get it mixing real good before I add the next set. Add some more. I do that because sugar can get lumpy. Even when you pour it out in advance, when it sits in the air, it can still get a little lumpy. So I like to take my time. Baking is a science of patience and measurement. Just gonna scrape that down a little bit. Cause we're not gonna overwork this cake. So once we get all this stuff worked in, it's going to be go really fast. I've got the oven set at um, 325. We're going to cook this cake, depending on your oven, 
it can be from an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and 30 minutes. All right, that's good enough for me. Now I'm gonna add, I have five eggs. So I'm gonna drop them in one at a, oops, well I said one at a time, but that was a couple at a time. And I'm gonna alternate with my flour. And I'm gonna turn it down because flour goes everywhere. Let me turn this mm -hmm. down. So I have my fourth cup of cocoa and my flour. And I have my half teaspoon of salt inside my flour. And my um, teaspoon of baking powder. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that in there. Okay. Because you're only using five eggs on this cake. this down off the edges or around the sides rather and get it worked in real good it reminds me of a song what does it remind you of Natalie he's still working on me <laughs> well you know I sing that a little different what did you say I say um he's still he's working on me just to make me what I ought to be It took him one week to make the sun The stars The moon and the earth Jupiter and Mars Loving and patient truly My God must be He's still working on me Can you get in there and let him see how that chocolate is looking? It's starting to turn brown Mm-hmm Okay, let's add these eggs These few eggs that we got left We're not If, if the phone's it. moving too much Y'all, my wrist is hurting I'm having spasms. <laughs> she always helped me, y'all. Keep adding that flour in there. I'm going to have to wait a long period of time. Let's get it in there and get it working. Next, I'm going to add me some um, buttermilk. Mm -hmm. Once I rub the sides down, I'm going to add the buttermilk because I don't want to overwork my cake. If you overwork your cake, it won't rise. It'll, it'll fall. So you have to kind of move quick sometimes. Sometimes you think the more you work it, the better, but that's not always true. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that, that buttermilk. Oop, did I do that? Did I do that? What are you doing? I let it splatter out. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit on me. Huh? That's all right. I was thinking if, if you overworked it, then you're gonna have to take it back to the potter's house, tear it down and redo it. Tear it down and redo it. And I don't wanna do that. So that was a cup of buttermilk. Well. Maybe three fourths now. I'm gonna add the vanilla. Just gonna keep it moving, Natalie. And then I'm gonna add. This is coffee, black coffee. Black coffee enhances the flavor of the cocoa to make it taste good in chocolate. And this is a, a fourth a cup. I might have to come and clean tomorrow. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> so because I like to give measurements and I would normally add this, I'm gonna turn around and I'm using just regular syrup. Just regular syrup you put on ice cream or anything. And I'm gonna pour it in here just to give it the extra richness. Now you don't ever want your cake to be too wet or too loose. And I don't want this too wet. I don't want it too loose, but I want it to taste so good. Mm. So good, I just can't tell it all. So I've greased my bunt pan, got the oven on 325. We're about ready to stop what we're doing. Let me stir it one more time from the edge. And we're getting ready to put this in the oven and watch all this magic come together. Look how fluffy it is. It's fluffy and it's thick. So fluffy. I'm gonna give it one more spin just cause I pulled it from the bottom up. Real good one. I'm not gonna beat this for no five or ten minutes. I will overbeat it. It looks like mousse, doesn't it? It looks like mousse. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to four, Let's try. three, two, one. Let's stop it. And we're, that's it. That's that. That right there. Let's come on and put it in here, Natalie. Let's get it in the pan that we've already sprayed. Look at that, Natalie. Don't it look just like mousse? Mousse. 
I bet you it tastes good too, Nat. I bet it does too. We're gonna have to try it out. We're I'm gonna, gonna have, have to test to the spoon. Lick the batter. Uh huh. Taste of it. All right. It's crazy. Okay, let's get it put in here. You know, buttermilk is just like sour cream. It's really good um, to keep a cake moist. Really good. Honey, one day I was making a cake and somebody said, oh, I can't believe she left all that cake batter. She just didn't know when that camera went off. I was still scraping, honey. <laughs> I need every bit. It's good to the last drop. Then I like to beat it down and get all the air bubbles out. Mm -hmm. And that's it. But I got to make sure that I've got it even all the way around. And, um... I'll probably get a little bit more off of that little spindle. The heart of bacon. See, I want to get those like out pockets out of there. Wow. You see how they came up? I did. And now you don't see them more. Nope. Because that's good. It's like that. And it's going in that oven. No air bubbles. No air bubbles. Huh. For an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and 45 minutes. I'll see y'all back then, okay? Thank you for watching Mama's Comfort Cooking. See you back later. Now let's make the icing for the chocolate pound cake. These are the ingredients that I'm using. A half a stick of margarine and a tablespoon of Crisco. I have a third cup of cocoa powder. I have a fourth a cup of canned milk. I'm gonna use a teaspoon of vanilla and I have one and a half cups of powdered sugar. This is how we're gonna start it. So I'm gonna take my powdered sugar and I am going to add my cocoa in there and I'm going to whisk these together you can sift it if you want to but I'm just whisking it together to blend it just like that Next, I'm going to take the one tablespoon of Crisco and a half a stick of margarine, um, and I'm going to stir it together to make it creamy. So I'm going to cream this together just like this. Make them become one. Okay, once I do that, we're going to come over here into the boiler. We're going to put the butter in. And the, the, the margarine, rather, and the shortening. We're using shortening with the margarine so that it won't burn real fast. It'll help level it out. And if we get it just like melted pretty good and burn pretty good, all we have to do now is add our um, powdered sugar and our cocoa. And you're going to still whisk it. So even if it's not all the way completely, it's okay. You're still going to get it in here and move it around. It'll be just fine. Now to this, I'm going to add fourth a cup or two tablespoons whichever way you want I'm gonna start off with that of milk 
And if I feel like I need more, I'll add more. And sometimes I do feel like the way I want to do it, I want to add more milk. Because we're so used to wanting everything to be so loose. And a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm eyeing it. Okay. But it is a teaspoon. And on low heat, I'm stirring this together. Keeping it smooth. And if you need more icing, you can always double your measurements. You can always double your measurements. Okay. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more of milk, just to stretch it a little bit more. About another tablespoon. Stir that in there just like that. That's your quick and simple icing for our chocolate chocolate cake. Just going to give it a few minutes. Then we're going to get ready to ice in this cake. Some of you that hadn't seen the first part of the video, this is how the chocolate chocolate pound turned out. It's a chocolate chocolate pound cake. So we have the chocolate on the inside, and then we're going to put the chocolate icing on the outside. If you ever feel like your icing is too rich, all you have to do is add a little more sugar and add a little more milk. Well, I do mine simple and easy. I don't make it be overly complicated. So I'm simply going to take my time and pour this icing all over this here cake. Just that easy and just like that. And I'm going to work it downward. Because you know it doesn't take long for this icing to get stiff. So let me get all of it. And we're going to play around with it. We're going to work it down. To cover this cake. Now this is a pound cake. This is not a layered cake. But we're just going to work it. And we're going to cover this. We're going to work it going downward. Once we sure everything up top is good, just kind of take it down and let it do its own thing. It's going to drip. Yep, it's one of those days I'm doing my laundry, minding my business. If you want more icing, of course, you can have more icing. This icing is just going to drip on down the sides. That's what my intentions are for this particular cake. I just want the icing to drip down on the sides. I don't want the um, icing to take over the flavor of it being a delicious pound cake. I just want the icing to fall as it may. And that's a chocolate chocolate pound cake for you. I can take it and smooth it around. I can have a, enough that I can go around the bottom and start to fill it in just like this. Once it gets down like I want it, I'm just going to fill it in just like that. Turn it around. 
still getting stuff out of the boiler. Good to the last drop. And I'm just gonna take it around the base. Pull up where it drizzled down and keep spreading it around. It's a simple, delicious, homemade chocolate, chocolate pound cake. I may make a little bit more icing where it's not wanting to fill in all the way. So I'm gonna add me a little bit more icing. I'm gonna whip it up real quick without measurements now. So if you're waiting on me to go all through the measurements again, go back and watch the video. So let's quickly make just a tad more. Fill it in. I know my measurements by head. And then when we get through, we're gonna have a delicious, I love to pour icing on the inside of my cake. There's nothing like it. So I'm gonna take my time. Make just a little bit more icing. And we'll fill it in just a little bit more. Won't take nothing, but this icing is really five-minute icing. That's all it is, five-minute icing. So it won't take us long. All it takes is me melting the shortening and the butter. We'll fill it in, make it thicker. Well, not thicker, but just give us a little bit more so that we can... Um, do what we need to do. So I'm getting ready to make it real quick for you. So we can keep icing in this baby. Ice, ice baby. It's not gonna take that much more. Okay. So I made a little bit more icing and it's ready. And we're just gonna take our time and we're gonna pour it. I'm gonna pour me some on the inside too, honey. Y'all can say what y'all wanna say, but you can't get enough icing. Let's get all that in there. Get it all in there. You cannot get enough icing. As much as I can get, I'm gonna get. Just gonna take my time and let this run over and it'll darken like the rest of it. And go upward. And I know y'all say, oh my goodness, that's what I said. And so that's what I did. I can't get enough of this. I got it all on the inside, y'all. Wait till y'all look on the inside. I'm gonna stick my knife in there. Put my knife in there. Mm, 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 mm. Just like that. And just like that. I have a chocolate, chocolate pan waiting on me. Mm, and I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to take my knife, dip it on the inside, and just spread it around the inside. Look in there. Get in there. Just like that. Honey. There's a blessing with your name on the, on the inside of this cake. I'm going to look in there a little bit and take my time. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all know it wouldn't be right if I let y'all go. And I didn't cut it. So let me cut a quick piece of this cake. Uh, pull it off this parchment paper in a minute. But I got to show you what I'm working with. So I'm just going to cut it because it don't belong to nobody but me. Let's cut inside this cake. Oh my goodness. Let's see what we're dealing with. Mm, 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 mm. A delicious piece of chocolate. Honey, chocolate pan. 
away and away. <laughs> and all that goodness on the inside. Mm. I wish y'all could taste this cake. This is a chocolate. Chocolate pound. But all the inside just bursting. I'll taste it for you. Honey, ask God to bless it and stretch it. <laughs> Mm. My Lord and I. Look at that. Look at that. Thank y'all for watching Mama's Comfort Cooking. Go make y'all a chocolate, chocolate pound. I love y'all. Yes, I do. I'm the cook, and you're my friends.